Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to talk about uh, wiring and electrical in its most ultimate simple terms. I'm here with Jim. Hi Bob. A, a master of many trades and one of them being electrical. And I do mean master. Uh, and so we're wanting to talk about uh, electrical on a so simple level that everyone here gets it and you're not left lost and you know the first bit of jargon throws you off. What we're going to cover first is wire sizes and gauges because that's critically important. You, you, you have to be safe and wire sizes determine safety to a great degree. And then we're going to specifically talk about how to strip and crimp wiring. Um, once, we've, once we've got these we'll show them to you and then we're going to show you how to strip it and crimp them so that you can connect them together and to your appliances. Uh, so We'll start first with uh, wire gauges. And we've got a variety here. We for, This is all we happen to have with us. Fortunately, we don't have the really big ones. Uh, it would be nice to show you those. And Jim, I'm going to turn this over to you, and I'm going to get behind the camera and uh, try and zoom in and let people see this. So why don't you just start by going through the different wire sizes and how they work and all this mess. That sounds great. Okay. So the thicker your wire, the more current you can carry. There are online uh, calculators that will tell you if you need to carry this many amps. For this far of a distance, use this gauge of wire. We'll, we'll put a link up for one of those calculators. Uh, but to give you an example, this is 24 gauge. It's being used in a USB cord. It's made to carry an incredibly small amount of current. And you can see these wires are, are incredibly small. So small that none of my tools actually will strip them. I, I generally use a pocket knife and just roll it against the blade of the pocket knife to strip it. I, I'm sure they make specialty tools for doing it. I, I just don't use this gauge of wire very often. Uh, the next step up we have an example of, this is 14 gauge, I believe. Yep, 14 gauge. And, and when you read a wire, usually on the side, it'll say either 14 gauge or 14 AWG. And uh, I don't know, you probably can't see that, but that's on there. This is called duplex because there's two wires in here. This is marine approved wire. It means it costs more. It's uh, water and, and uh, salt resistant. Um, looks like it's a uh, copper tinned. Right. Uh, I thought this was 12 gauge, but it looks pretty small. 14 and 12, you're, you're beginning to start talking wiring inside your van. Not extreme long lengths for heavy uh, loads, uh, lots of amps, but a lot better than often the vans are wired for themselves. This is 10 gauge here. This is actually solar wire. I'll be using it on my roof to rewire my roof. It, uh, it is sun resistant. And I don't know if Bob can. Most, it's the most popular MC4 size wire. It's good for up to 30 feet or 30 amps for a certain distance. If you get any longer than that, you start going up in size. This is 8 gauge here, 6 gauge, 4 gauge. Uh, we don't have any two or one, but we do have one aught and two aught wire here. And the two aught wire is the thickest we have, and you can see how thick that is. And this this particular wire, it, it's not flexible at all. If, if you were going to wire something with this, 
man, it, it'd be hard to work with. Uh, some of these one ox we have, they're they're pretty flexible. I mean, they're not going to make sharp corners, but they're going to go around corners, and the, and it's going to be more usable. And you can't always tell just by looking at it how what the the gauge is, because this gauge, this wire here, if you look, looks like it's much thicker, but it's actually one aught, whereas the two aught wire we have here looks much thinner with the insulation, but the wiring inside the insulation is actually much thicker. So Jim, one of the things that confuses people a lot in our sizes. It's kind of a weird system that we have, the bigger the number, the smaller the wire, until it gets really small and then it goes backwards. Can you explain that all to us? All right, uh, one gauge is thicker than two gauge, which is thicker than four gauge, which is thicker than six, then it goes up to eight, 10, 12, it drop, jumps up uh, two numbers in each. Uh, this is 24 gauge here. It's, it's almost hair thickness. It's hard to strip. This is a uh, four gauge here, much thicker. So from, from one gauge up, the higher the number, the smaller the, the wire. Once you get into, go below one gauge, you start dropping into the aughts and it reverses. One aught or zero is thinner than two aught, which is thick, thinner than four aught. Uh, four aught is like the size of my thumb. I, I, we don't have any of that here. Th this is a one aught lug. This is two two aught. The one one aught's just smaller than the two aught. Okay, so basically it's just reverse what you would think. That's right. And then until you get to zero, and then it begins, the negatives are said as uh, two aught, or, or one aught, or four aught. And four aught is a huge wire. Four aught's a, a huge wire. Right. Uh, it, it's, I, I don't exactly know the dimensions off the top of my head, but it's thick. So if someone says uh, you need a four gauge wire, you want to be careful that you're on the same page and clarify you mean four, which is a fairly fairly good size, but small wire, versus four aught, which is a an enormous wire. An enormous wire. Right. Uh, not only thick, but stiff, heavy, hard to work with, hard to make connections for. And of course, expensive. And <laughs> very expensive. Uh, a huge, huge wire is obviously going to cost more than uh, a small wire. Okay, so that covers wire sizes. So thanks, Jim, so much for sharing your uh, knowledge and experience with us again. It just, uh, you know, it's just so good to have someone that really knows what he's talking about, telling us, leading us through these things. If you need it explained better, get a hold of me at Jim and Jim in Denver.com. We'll sit down and actually talk about it. So folks, I hope you got something out of this, and I hope you ha this helped you. If it did, like us on uh, YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.